Justin here, and today I just wanted to talk about something a little bit more serious, but I wanted to bring awareness and share my experience with COVID-19. I unfortunately had been infected with this virus this past holiday season, but I hope that this video is something that those who have gotten it can relate to, and those who have not, just to be more aware of maybe some of the signs, or maybe to eliminate some of the fear, perhaps. I'm not 100% sure, but I did want to use my platform here on YouTube to be able to talk about this. I feel it's important, you know, coming from a first-hand perspective and experience with this virus. So let's talk about it. Before we get going, if you would, if you could please hit the like button beneath this video. It helped to get it out to more fellow intellectuals like yourself. And hey, maybe somebody needs to hear this message. Have you done that? All right, great. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. All right. Well, this past Christmas on the 25th, I had had a get together at my mom's house. Unfortunately, she, along with my stepfather and my aunt, had COVID-19, unbeknownst to all of us. Fortunately, not everybody at the party got COVID-19, as we later found out. But, as for my brother, myself, and my mother, as well as my stepfather, and my aunt, and... Uh, Professor Teffa, who happened to also be there. We all got COVID-19. The doctor said 80% chance it was probably the Omicron, or Omicron, whichever you pronounce it, that variant. There was no testing to see which variant it was. It's just so you know, if you're doing the quick test, the within 20 minutes of taking the test, to find out what it is, if, you, if you're positive or negative, that's all they're going to know. But because we could still taste and smell, that's why the doctor said he was about 80% certain it was the newest variant. Either way. Uh, Christmas was on a Saturday. And I believe it was around Monday evening. So following Monday evening that the symptoms began to make themselves apparent for me. I'd had a, a pretty bad cough. And that's not usual for me, especially even during this time of year where the, the allergies are up and so is the flu season. But uh, fortunately, my immunity system is decent enough where that's not a huge deal. So I had a bad cough and that's how I kind of knew uh, something was off. I think it was around Tuesday afternoon that my brother had called me to tell me he had tested positive for COVID-19 and that Myself, Professor Teffa, uh, my mother, stepfather, and my aunt should all go and get tested as well. So we did. And unfortunately, we found out that we were all positive for COVID. So that explains the, uh, the cough that I had. Now, it was a special case because uh, Professor Teffa did not test positive at first came later. There's an incubation period between 2 to 14 days and unfortunately she had gotten it a little later on. So, But she's fine. I'm fine. Everybody's fine, first and foremost. And thank goodness, because I can only imagine what this is like for those who have not been vaccinated, for example. Uh, I, fortunately, as well as everyone else I've mentioned, has been vaccinated most of us, I believe, got the Pfizer, the two shots of the Pfizer vaccine. Either way, I, I, I'd hate to think what this is like for those who have not gotten that or those who can't. Because, you know, let's get real here, not everybody can get the vaccine. Uh, definitely check with your doctor if you are considering doing that. Uh, just because of some of the side effects, perhaps, it's just not for some people. I get it, you know, but as for us, we, we definitely had to get vaccinated. 
job, but everyone else is involves being around people, so that they had to get vaccinated. So, <clears throat> on that note, what was the experience like? Well, there was a pretty bad cough for me uh, for quite some time. It's about a good week and a half. It's still still there a little bit even now. But uh, cough drops really helped a lot for me. That was what, you know, I had a really sore throat for a little bit. And then I took cough drops and that helped. Uh, Tylenol also helped a lot as well. Uh, the doctor made some recommendations about certain vitamins that you can take in order to help your body through the process of recovering from this disease. So definitely listen to your doctor. I mean, let's think about it. They've dedicated a large portion, uh, a good chunk, I guess you could say, of their life to studying medicine, amongst other things. And, uh, you know, you should listen to them and get a second opinion if you don't trust. I know some people feel that way, and that's that's okay to be skeptical. It's a healthy amount of skepticism is always advised, but get a second opinion. If they say a similar or same thing, then most likely what they're saying is should do. So, I highly recommend that. And do not feel defeated if you happen to get this disease. I mean, that's one of the things I had to kind of deal with a little bit was, well, you got COVID and you've been practicing all the regulations, you know, social distancing, staying at home, staying away from, from friends, you know, just strictly family for a couple of years. And and yet still, we ended up getting COVID. So do not feel defeated if you get the virus. And I wish and hope that you get through it, that everything's okay, and that it's just not a crazy experience. My mom's experience was actually pretty painless. She had already gotten the third booster shot, which uh, Professor Teva and I had both scheduled to get uh, before we realized we had COVID. Uh, so from what the doctor had said if you happen to get COVID before you get the booster you have to wait about three months after recovering from it before you can get the booster apparently the antibodies still play a major role in your immunity uh, against even this virus so know that if you get COVID you'll have to wait a few months before you could schedule the booster, if you were interested in getting that, okay? Uh, that's one thing that I learned. Uh, probably the strangest side effect for me, uh, aside from the coughing, was uh, I just felt like I had a flu for a while, you know? Usually I'll sleep it off, you know, good 16 hours worth of sleep. That tends to make any flu symptoms go down pretty drastically. It tends to be my experience, but it, it just kept on being a nuisance. It was very annoying, uncomfortable, you know. So that's what you're gonna experience probably. Uh, there's a good chance of that. It's just a flu that is very, stays on top of you for at least a good two or three, two or three days, pretty solid. And, you know, you're not, you're not taking any extra medicine or uh, vitamins like, like my doctor had recommended. So uh, aside from those things. One other thing that did happen was I lost uh, this, the, the, the ability to taste mint. I think even now I still have trouble tasting mint products like toothpaste or uh, just they have like Mentos gum. You know, I remember, you know, you can still feel the sensation of mint, the cooling effect that it has, but you can't really taste any sort of mint directly. It's kind of weird. I think some people early on in the pandemic had said that those who got it tasted like bad cilantro or something like that. I didn't quite have that experience, but I, I did lose that taste. So I think it comes back in a couple more weeks or something like that. So we'll see how that pans out. But like I said, first and most important thing to do, go and get tested. If you think that you've been exposed or you've been around um, somebody who has the virus, go get tested. Um, you know, sometimes testing can be hard to find, especially right after the holiday season. It was for us. We had to go to the emergency room to get 
test it. So keep that in mind. And if you haven't gotten vaccinated, please do consider uh, getting vaccinated. Talk to your doctor first. First and foremost, talk to your doctor. Say, hey, I'm thinking about getting vaccinated. I haven't been vaccinated because I just, just have a fear, you know, whatever it is, right? It's holding you back. Maybe it, maybe you can't. You've had a bad experience with vaccines. But do consider uh, getting vaccinated if you can. If the doctor says, yes, you can, it should be fine. I would listen to that advice because we gotta we gotta beat this thing, you know. That's that's and that's one of the ways we can do it. It's just getting that herd immunity all over the world together. The next thing is if there are uh, any ways that you can continue to social distance and wear a mask, I highly recommend you do that as well. Um, that that should definitely help to narrow down because it passes through the air, you know, the breathing. That's how this virus gets around mostly from what I've read. So yeah, I know it stinks. I, I want this to be over just like anyone else on either side of the fence, believe me. But let's remember to love one another. Let's remember to respect one another. Let's be kind to one another. Let's listen to each other. And I think that in hopefully another year, maybe two, we can get through this. Um, but know that I'm okay. And I hope that if you've gotten the virus that you're okay too, or if you've just recently found out that you got it, you know, I hope that you'll get better. It's not, it's not a laughing matter. It is a very serious thing. Um, and so we just have to be loving. I think that's another thing. There's a lot of mixed opinions about this. But I think one thing that we can, especially here in the ASMR community, we can be kind to one another. Because if you can't do anything else, do that. Okay? That's what I'd recommend. Well, there you have it. Uh, should be going back to work here pretty soon. Uh, fortunately, I work from home. So it's not too crazy for me. But for those who have to work at a place, it can be pretty crazy. Like my brother, for example. He has a job that unfortunately uh, doesn't pay him for being off, and he has to be in a physical location, so it can be a very different experience. But listen to the doctors and get a second opinion if you question it. Stay safe, and hopefully you found this relaxing and informative and know that uh, we can get through this together. I think that's the only way that we're going to get past all of this. So I appreciate you coming by and watching. Please consider subscribing uh, if you enjoy relaxing and honest content like this. It's really what I want to provide here on this channel. It's just sharing my experiences and sharing love. Something that's worth sharing, you know. So, that's all I have for now. Whether it is morning, noon, or night, I hope that it's a great one. And love and peace, okay? Remember, let's be kind to as many people as we possibly can. And I think that that's the best way to do anything, even if you disagree. Someone, love the person and disagree, but still, give that love. For now... Wishing you the best and wishing you well. Professor A S M R. This has been Professor Dustin. I hope you have a great one. See you again in the future. Stay healthy. Love and peace. Bye for now.